Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindy and I'd like to welcome you. Um, I'm going to be starting some videos, uh, starting to attempt to make some DIY videos. Um, I've seen so many people on here making so many wonderful videos of their projects and their crafts and so many beautiful, beautiful items. And I thought, you know, I like to craft. I've been doing it for years and I'd like to be able to share that with people as well. I have some ideas of, of things that um, I'd like to be able to show you how to make. And I hope that you will find them um, enjoyable. And if you do, please feel free to share, like, and comment. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. And um, please bear with me as this is my very first video. I will do my best. I'm sure they will get better as they go along. So just bear with me. So for tonight's um, video, my first video, I am going to make a Victorian inspired nightlight. Uh, most of the items that I'm going to be using will be from the dollar store, Joann's, and um, uh, Michael's. So, that being said, from the Dollar Tree, we have a margarita glass, a four inch vase, a salad bowl. Two round mirrors, lights, for decoration, some of these pearls, rhinestones from the Dollar Tree, and this strip of rhinestones was from Michael's. And also from Michael's was this glitter. It is Queen of Hearts. It's just so pretty. That is going to be used for the inside here, which is going to be the bottom. I have these little jewels, acrylic jewels for Michaels. This bag of assorted three different size pearls from Joann's. These half pearls, pastel pink and white from Joann's. I have this crushed glass in pastel pink. This is from Michaels. Please be very careful working with this as it is truly crushed glass and can be very sharp and dangerous if you're not careful. Now, I also got this glue from Joann's. It's called Beacon Quick Grab. Quick Grip, I'm sorry. And um, it was about, it, it, it's equivalent to um, if you're using a um, glue gun. It dries very quickly. You have minimal seconds to work with it before it, it dries where that you, you know what I mean? It's like I said, it's just like the glue gun. It, it, it works along the lines of that. It's quick drying and it's very strong. It's wonderful. It says it, it's an all purpose contact cement. Uh, it's a quick grab, quick dry, water, weatherproof, flexible, paintable. It's crystal clear and it's permanent. It's a permanent adhesive grip to this. What I'd like to do is I'm going to be gluing the top of this to the bottom of the margarita glass and I'm going to be gluing the bottom of this to the bot to the which is going to be technically the bottom of the margarita glass and I'm going to be making a, a, a mixture of all these jewels in glitter and what I'm going to do is I'm going to need overnight for this to set so I'll be back in a moment because I've already started and I have one that's ready to go so that we can carry through with the project. I'll be right back. Hello, my friends. Okay, what I've already gone ahead and done is last night, 
I took the mirror and glued it into the top half, which is going to be the um, shade. So I glued it basically into the bottom, I guess you'd say, the inside bottom of the bowl. In the meantime, I found these at Michael's. These were round um, little diamond, um, they give the illusion of diamonds. There's technically not, I don't know if you can see that in there. There you go. They're really not diamonds in there, but you know, it looks like it and they're pretty cool. And I also do like Chanel, Chanel. So I cut these and glued them, glued one of them together and cut out some of this paper. I got this at Michael's. And the number of it, it's glitter paper. It's 12 by 12, and um, the skew is 506551, and um, it's by Recollections. I cut out a small, measured a small circle size, and I glued that to the inside as well, along with the two C's. I thought that was a nice added touch. It just gave it a little bit of sparkle. In the meantime, last night as well, I have glued the top on, so we're all set. And this is what the bottom looks like. It's got a little bit of a, I just kind of liked the way that looked. It gave it a, gave it a, a kind of a feminine touch to it. So what I'd like to do is, my plan is to take this and put it on top and add the battery pack to it. What I've done already is, so that I would get a good fit inside here, I coiled this up around a smaller bottle so that I'd get a perfect, so it would just kind of drop right, right in there. I've already glued this wire down here on the battery pack, just so that it would be out of the way. I'm going to be gluing this wire inside of here And I'm going to be hiding that so that it's hidden. It's going to be hidden inside, you won't be able to see it. See, when I unclip them, it gives me a nice little corkscrew with the lights so that they are they kind of just will fall into the glass. As you can see there, it kind of, it kind of gives them that little, this way they're all throughout. I don't have to glue them in place anywhere because they're all just kind of resting where they need to be. glue this top in place here so that
just so that it doesn't slide from the weight of the batteries. When that dries. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to put a few drops of this and hot glue right at the pressure points, right, basically right here and then in the middle here where the where the case will rest against the glass. I don't want to obstruct the screw here so that I can't get into it to change the battery. So I'm going to be putting a drop here and here and then the hot glue. Okay, let me just get that, okay. Okay. Let's just put that there and Give that a few minutes to dry. Oh, I had an aunt that really liked Victorian things and I guess that rubbed off on me. But then there also is that part of me that loves Chanel and I see so many of the Chanel inspired projects on here and I cannot wait to try all of them. They are just stunning. The, the things that these ladies come up with are just stunning and I want to be able to try all of them. Put a little bit more here. I'll wait till this side dries so that I can do it to the other side. Put some glue on the other side. Hold that there, it's drying already, which is great. This stuff is just wonderful. If you do get yourself some of this glue, try not to make the mistake that I've made. And that is squeeze it from the top. Try to squeeze it from the bottom. And wipe off your tip as you go along because otherwise it will plug up like it did on me where I had to use the bobby pin. Is that a bobby pin? A, a bobby pin. A safety pin. Is that a, sa a safety pin or is that a safety pin? Holy Toledo. Okay. All right, I'm going to reinforce this down here put some more glue I just want to get a good hold of glue so that it is nice and secure and firm on there so that when the batteries get changed it doesn't get pulled off. Ideally I would have really liked to have gone um, and used 
a plug, uh, an electric set of lights but there really was nowhere to put the cord to hide it and at least this way it gets hidden by the, the, the shade. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take a couple of little dabs of blue here and there just to hold these lights up a little bit here and there. I didn't think I would have to because of the because of the way that the lights coiled around, and I really don't have to too much, but I would like there to be a little, I guess maybe symmetry in there. So I'm going to just place a couple dabs here and there. And let's see, perhaps. There. this popsicle stick to push this wire down here. a few more feathers and just throwing them in there just to give it a little bit of shadow I guess if you will maybe like a little bit to uh, to dim the lights a little bit they're not that bright though say this much. <laughs> there are feathers everywhere. I have this neat little vacuum and it works wonderfully for picking up the flying feathers. What a clever, clever little invention that is. So I think I just want to take some of these and Put them down in there. It just gives it a little bit of a diffused look, I guess. Let me just get some more of these feathers up. It looks like I've plucked a chicken. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take some of these little gemstones, not that many, and just maybe just throw a few of them in the bottom there. Don't you wish they made a glue that didn't have these little strings? They remind me of little spider webs. Okay. 
I also wanted to mention that make sure that before you begin your projects that you wash all of the glassware so that you can remove any traces of dirt, film, or fingerprints because once all this is glued, you certainly won't be able to <laughs> do that afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit, set for a bit. And I was thinking perhaps of taking some maybe some of these stones and perhaps going along the bottom of this. I think that would be a nice touch. Two of my favorite colors, which my most favorite being pink and then purple, um, I really just love a nice pastel soft pink, which also happens to be one of the colors of Chanel. And uh, I don't hate that. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. I'm just going to glue these right to the bottom. They out, they stick right on, so I'm going to put those right on the, the bottom of that. the very edge there, the very bottom, just to give it a little embellishment. They really have so many unbelievably um, good deals at the dollar store as far as your uh, I, cannot get over for crafting just the the it's just incredible the deals are just when you, when you think you found all you can find and then next thing you know you find out something else and of course you've got to make sure that when you when they first put it out that you get there and stock up because it does not stay it gets snapped up very quickly. I had to go to four different dollar stores to get the items that I needed for this light set to, to make, the, make this light. Because um, one place had the vase, the little four inch vases, the other place had the bottoms, uh, the bowls, another place had the margarita glasses. So, I mean, it was just. Yeah, they're starting to uh, know me by, by name in there. <laughs> oh, she's back. <laughs> We're just going to set up a cot in the back for you. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is coming along so nicely.
Well, I think that I'm ready for the final step. Now, what I have to do here is, let me see if I can, oh, oh let me see, I have to get my mirror glass. I'm going to get ready to glue the top on. I have a table or maybe the floor that that is not even. So what I suggest is just to be on the safe side. Make sure that you get a level and put it on top of your Of your um, when you when you you know when you are ready to glue it so that you know um, that it's straight you definitely want to make sure that it's straight um, not leaning and or in other words because um, that's not good okay so what I'm gonna do is Okay, perfect. And there we have it. It is done. Well, so that was my first DIY. I hope I did okay. Give me any pointers. I can use all the help I can get. Thank you for stopping by. And I look forward to visiting with you again. Good night. And good day. <laughs> Take care.